Hi, this is Brenda with Keenan Creations and today we're going to make a quick and easy card using Tranquil Tulips from Stampin' Up! This is a hostess only stamp set but you can earn it with Stampin' Rewards and you start earning Stampin' Rewards when your order is $150 or more. We're going to start with Whisper White cardstock and this measures 3 and 5 eighths by 4 and 7 eighths. I'm going to place it on the stamping pierce mat. When you're using photopolymer stamps, if you have the foam mat under your cardstock, it'll help you get a more solid inking on the paper. Our first ink color is Pear Pizzazz. And I'm going to start with this image here. It has the three stems. And you're just going to tap it. And I'm going to have one angled to the right. And then we'll ink it up again, and we'll have one angled to the left. Now you'll notice with this stamp set that the images are not solid. So sometimes when you stamp something you think you haven't inked it up well, but you can tell with this set that you're going to have an unevenness to the image. So that's how it's designed, and it kind of gives you almost a little bit of a watercolor look. And we have two different sized tulips. So there'll be two images for each tulip. So the two large ones will make the bigger one, obviously. And then we have two smaller ones here. Now, a lot of times when you're working with um, two-step stamping, meaning there's two stamps to make one image, you're usually going to have um, a lighter color and a darker color. Well, this stamp set is already designed to give you a lighter shade for the background and a darker shade for the image that you stamp on top automatically. So I want to use Blushing Bride first. And you can stamp the larger image first or the smaller one, but I found with this set, if I do the smaller one, it's easier for me to line up the larger one next. So we're going to ink up with Blushing Bride. And I'm just going to line this up so it's at the top of the stem. And you're just going to press firmly. I don't want to rock the block because I have a little bit of ink on the corners there. So there's your first image. Now the second one, again you also ink it up in Blushing Bride. You don't stamp off, just ink it up full strength. And now we're going to line this one up on top. And again press firmly. And when you lift it up, you can see that the larger stamp already has that lighter shading built in. So it looks like you've used two different color inks, but you've just used the one. And then I'm going to do the smaller tulip with these images here. Again, I'm going to use a smaller image first. And I'm going to come right over here. Now I'm purposefully stamping these tulips with the lighter pink and working my way to the darker one so I don't have to clean them. And again, you're going to ink this one up in the same Flushing Bride color and that's going to go directly on top. So we're just going to repeat that process with the other colors. So my next color is Peekaboo Peach. The third color is Calypso Coral. Now instead of stamping this tulip right here, I know it's going to overlap, so I'm going to do that one on scratch paper and we're going to cut that out. So I'm going to go back to this one and there's two different stems that you can add to your tulips and we're just going to mix that in. Again, we're going back to the pear pizzazz. So I'm just going to cut this out and when cutting out an image to pop up later, I like to leave just a really tiny white border around the edge. I don't want to cut right on the image and I want to keep the scissors moving and the paper turning for a nice even cut. You don't want to have a lot of start and stop marks so just you know take your time. The more you cut the better you'll get so don't feel like the first time you do it's going to turn out the way that you like. If you don't do something well, you just have to keep practicing. But I do like to um, cut out images and pop them up. We've got punches and framelits for a lot of the 
images in the Stampin' Up! catalog, but back in the old days, this is how we did it, so every once in a while we still have to cut with scissors. These are the um, paper snips from Stampin' Up! and I only use these to cut paper. I have different scissors that I use to cut ribbon. There we go, and just finish that up. Before I, I add this to the front of the card, we need to stamp the little um, stamens for the inside of the tulips. And there's two different images that you can use for that part. And we're gonna use Early Espresso ink. I think you could probably use basic black also. And I don't know, honestly, which one is designed to go with the large flower or the small one, so I really don't think it matters. So just kind of mix it up, and it just goes right about there. And then we'll use this one just to have a different shape. So we have dimensionals. We're just going to grab probably three. And we're just going to add that right here. Now I have a thank you image. Um, I just don't remember which stamp set it's from, but honestly any greeting will work. We're going to go back to the Early Espresso ink, and I'm just going to line it up right here. And I can't decide yet if, if that tiny little spot is going to bother me enough, so I'm going to stamp this on scratch paper. I'll cut it out, and then I'll see if I like the placement, because I can always add that. I'm going to ink it up in Early Espresso. I'm going to add just a little bit of yellow here from a Stampin' Right marker. And believe it or not, I'm going to cut this guy out. So when you have tiny little legs like this, you don't want that to be the last thing that you cut. So wherever you start, just make sure you're not going to be cutting the legs last because it's going to be hard to turn the paper to get around that. So I'm just going to follow around the edge there. I know this is weird. I don't know where the backing is for my tape and I don't want to run downstairs to get it. So we're going to see <laughs> if we can just use it without that. It may not work. Oh, sort of. Yeah, it's not the best, but don't do this. Okay, that wasn't too painful. So we're going to layer this to Early Espresso cardstock, and this is cut just a tiny bit larger than this layer. This ends up measuring 3 and 3 quarters by 5 inches. So I'm just going to slide this in place before I press it down, just make sure that it looks fairly even. We have a folded um, pear pizzazz cardstock, and when it's folded, it's four and a quarter by five and a half, which is your standard card size. We're going to add adhesive to the back and layer this right to the front. I will actually end up placing him there. It'll cover up my little ink smudge. And I'm just going to place him just like that and kind of get his wings up a little bit. So there you go. Pretty quick and easy card, right? Um, this is the original card. And I wanted to point out, I actually messed up when I was stamping this tulip. So you can see how it's supposed to look here. And what I did is I, I grabbed this stamp. So it has a different shape to it. But to me, it still looks like a tulip, so I left it. Um, I'm going to show you one more card that we made using this set that's very similar. Stamping Up sells note cards and envelopes, and it's great because the note card is already cut and scored for you, and you get an envelope that you can stamp, so you can see how you can add that image to the envelope. And if you wanted to, you could add a tulip on the inside as well. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you have a chance to leave me a comment, I'd love to hear from you. You can also visit me at KeenanCreations.com. Thanks and have a great day.